Hello there. Today I'll show you which one is the fastest car in the road E class. I tested every car in Japan standard time pace setter. There are 10 cars in the basic installation, plus 6 cars from DLC packs. Every one is fast enough to beat the 1 minute 30 seconds challenge, with proper upgrades of course. There might be differences in upgrade result PIR readings cross platforms. Every car is tested with a new tuning slot and reset everything to default value. Let's start with the slowest car. Unfortunately, the slowest car in my tests is the Mazda RX-7 R2. It's in the Legends Pack DLC, is a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 298, with performance brakes and performance weight reduction. The upgraded car rotates easily at corner turn in, oversteers just a tiny bit at mid turn and exit. It is very easy to handle. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 28.174 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.349 seconds, is stable enough. The 15th car is the Renault Megane RS Trophy. It's a front engine, front wheel drive car. Also upgraded to PIR 298, with performance intake and performance ECU. This car is very easy to control. It does not feel like a front-wheel drive car at all. It is well balanced in corners, easy to rotate at turn in, very stable at mid-turn and exit. My 3-lap average time is 1 minute 28.163 seconds. The difference in between is only 0.231 seconds, very stable as well. The 14th car is the Audi TDS Coupe. It's a front engine, four-wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with performance intake, performance camshaft, performance ECU, and performance engine block. The upgraded car is much more powerful. This four-wheel drive car felt neutral in corners. Quite easy to turn in, well balanced at mid-turn and exit. It is very easy to handle. My three-lap average time is 1 minute 27.842 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.336 seconds, is stable enough. The 13th car is the Nissan Silvia S15 Spec RGT Aero from the Power Pack DLC, is a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with performance weight reduction, motorsport intake, motorsport camshaft, and motorsport ECU. The upgraded car slightly understeers at turn in, needs to brake earlier. It is well balanced at mid turn, oversteers a little bit at exit and high speed corners. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 27.682 seconds. The difference in between is only 0.236 seconds, very stable. The 12th car is the Acura NSX 97 from the Legends Pack DLC. It's the only middle engine car in the Road E class, with rear wheel drive layout. Upgraded to PIR 299, with performance brakes only. This car tends to understeer and turn in, but it can be easily fixed by lowering the brake balance and setup tuning. It is well balanced at mid turn and exit, very easy to control. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 27.563 seconds. The difference in between is 0.301 seconds, very stable. The 11th car is the Mercedes AMG A45 4Matic. It's a front engine, four wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with performance intake only. This car is well balanced and very easy to handle. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 27.274 seconds. The difference in between is 0.680 seconds, a little bit too much because the starting speed is too low. Number 10. Nissan 370Z from the Power Pack DLC. It's a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with performance brakes and performance weight reduction. The upgraded car is well balanced and very easy to drive. 
just a tiny bit oversteering at high speed corners. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 27.186 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.227 seconds, very stable. Number 9. Honda Civic Type R. It's a front engine, front wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with track intake, track camshaft, performance ECU, and performance engine block. The upgraded car is also well balanced, and easy to drive too. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 26.928 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.387 seconds, is stable enough. Number 8. Toyota Super MK4 Turbo from the Legends Pack DLC. It's a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with performance weight reduction and track intake. The upgraded car tends to understeer very slightly at turn in, needs to brake a little bit earlier, well balanced at mid turn, a tiny bit oversteer at exit and high speed corners. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 26.873 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.365 seconds, is stable enough. Number 7. Ford Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback. It's a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with track tires, performance weight reduction, motor sport intake, track camshaft, and track ECU. Upgrading track tires is essential. The car is almost uncontrollable after adding so much power output. The upgraded car is surprisingly easy to drive. Just a tiny bit oversteering at turn in, well balanced at mid turn, slightly oversteering at exit and high speed corners. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 26.818 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.169 seconds, very stable. Number 6. Toyota Sprinter Trueno GT Apex AE86 from the Power Pack DLC. It's a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with track tires, performance weight reduction, track intake, motorsport camshaft, motorsport ECU, performance engine block and stage 2 turbocharger. The upgraded car tends to oversteer at turn in and mid turn. steers a lot at exit and high speed corners. It feels no grip at high speed, the car tends to drift very easily. It's very difficult to handle, it's quite challenging to drive fast. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 26.759 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is only 0.065 seconds, very stable but it's really tough fighting against oversteer. Number 5. Toyota GT86. It's a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to 299, with performance brakes, performance weight reduction, track camshaft, and stage 1 turbocharger. The upgraded car is well balanced, just a tiny bit oversteer at turn in, and it is very easy to drive. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 26.538 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.668 seconds, could be improved with more practices. Number 4. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6 TME. It's a front engine, four wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299 with performance weight reduction, track intake, track camshaft, and performance ECU. The upgraded car tends to oversteer slightly at turn in and mid-turn, well balanced at exit and high speed. It's very easy to drive. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 26.503 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.366 seconds, is stable enough. Number 3. 
Nissan Skyline GTR R34. It's a front engine, four wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 296, with track weight reduction only. The upgraded car is well balanced, just a tiny bit oversteer at turn in which actually helped to brake later. It's very easy to drive. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 26.064 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.479 seconds, is acceptable. Number 2. BMW 2002 Turbo. It is a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 299, with track tires, motorsport intake, motorsport camshaft, track ECU, performance engine block and stage 2 turbocharger. The upgraded car is well balanced, very easy to drive. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 25.885 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.308 seconds, is stable enough. Number 1. Ford Escort RS 1600. It is a front engine, rear wheel drive car. Upgraded to PIR 298, with track tires, motorsport intake, motorsport camshaft, motorsport ECU, track engine block and stage 1 turbocharger. The upgraded car is well balanced and very agile for the extremely lightweight. It's very easy to drive. My 3 lap average time is 1 minute 24.372 seconds. The difference between the fastest and slowest lap time is 0.377 seconds, is stable enough. Now let's take a look at my full 3 lap run in this crazy little car. Please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.
please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.